Hello, viewer. My name is Jasmine Ohawa from Loreto Convent Valley Road, and I'm in Form 4. With me is my colleague. My name is Ruth Rukwaro, and I'm in Form 4. Welcome to Science Hub. So today we'll be revisiting the topic, Energy Changes in Physical and Chemical Properties. The topics that we'll discuss today is on fuels, molar heat of combustion, and Hess's law. In molar heat of combustion, we're going to do an experiment. What is molar heat of combustion? This is the enthalpy change that occurs when one mole of a substance is completely burnt in oxygen. We're going to do an experiment on molar heat of combustion, and my colleague over here is going to carry it out. Um, first, pour 100 cubic centimeters of distilled water into a 250 ml glass beaker. Secondly, record the temperature of the water. The temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. We're going to record the temperature on the blackboard, 22 degrees Celsius. Next, you're going to weigh the bottle and its contents and arrange the apparatus. This is a bottle of ethanol. Two hundred and sixteen point six four grams. Next, you're going to set up the apparatus. Next, let the wick to start the water, to, to start heating the water. Stir the water carefully with the thermometer and extinguish the flame when the temperature of the water has risen by 15 degrees Celsius. Seven degrees Celsius. We record the temperature of the water. This will be the final temperature. Weigh the bottle and its contents again and record the results obtained. 208.18 grams. This will be the final mass of the bottle. We're going, to work, we're going to work out the heat of the molar heat of combustion of ethanol. We'll start by finding out the mass of ethanol. This will be find uh, the initial mass minus the final mass, and we'll get Eight point four six grams. This will be the mass of ethanol used, and then we get the change in temperature by subtracting the final from the initial. Fifteen degrees Celsius. We get we get fifteen degrees Celsius. We're we're, go we're going to work out the 
moles of ethanol used. So it will be moles used will be the mass of ethanol used over the molar mass of ethanol, which is 46. And we'll get 0 0.1839 moles. 1839 volts. Next, we're going to work out the heat involved when ethanol was being used. As we said before in previous discussion, heat involved is its mass, mass of the solution which is 0 0.1 kilograms times the specific heat capacity, which is 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram times the change in temperature of the experiment, which is 15. We'll get 6.3 kilojoules. We get 6.3 um, next, we'll find the molar heat of combustion. So we'll say if 0 0.1839 moles will evolve 6.3 kilojoules, what about 1 mole? We'll cross multiply and it will be 1 times 6.3 over 0 0.1839. 34.26 kilojoules per mole. This will be the molar heat of combustion. We're going to write the thermochemical equation, which will be Um, the molar heat of combustion will be a negative because uh, this experiment shows us exothermic reaction. So it will be negative. 34.26 kilojoules per mole. The thermochemical equation can also be illustrated in an energy level diagram. My colleague here is going to draw the diagram. So this this 
energy level diagram shows that the reaction is is exothermic. That is why the energy of the product is less than the energy of the reactants. We will now move to Hess's law, which states that the energy changes in converting reactants to products is the same regardless of the route by which the chemical change occurs. This can be simply illustrated in an energy cycle diagram, which my fellow colleague will draw. A compound like methane, enthalpy cannot be determined, determined experimentally by direct synthesis. So, methane's molar heat of formation cannot be calculated directly. So you can calculate the molar heat of combustion of carbon and of hydrogen, then of methane itself. Then you add the molar heat of combustion of carbon and hydrogen, then you subtract the molar heat of combustion of methane. So the, en en the enthalpy of formation of methane is equal to the enthalpy of combustion of carbon plus enthalpy of combustion of hydrogen times two because in the equation there are two moles of hydrogen minus enthalpy of combustion of methane. There is also lattice energy. This can be defined as the energy change in one mole of an ionic compound is formed from its constituent ions in gaseous state. Another form of energy is hydration energy. This can be defined as energy change that occurs when one mole of a gaseous ion becomes hydrated. My colleague is going to draw a cycle diagram to show the two energy forms. Using lattice energy and hydration energy, we are able to calculate heat of solution. This will be lattice energy added to hydration energy to get heat of solution. We now move to fuels. What is a fuel? 
A fuel is a substance that produces energy, that produces useful energy when it undergoes a chemical or a nuclear reaction. There are different types of fuels. Fuel, types of fuels can be categorized as liquid and solid. Solid types of fuels are fuel, coke, coal, charcoal, and liquid fuels include petrol, kerosene, or diesel. For one to know how to choose a fuel depends on the purpose it is to be used. The following points have to be considered in each case. The heating value of the fuel. What is the heating value of the fuel? Heating value is the amount of heat energy given and Heating value is the amount of energy given out when a unit mass of a fuel is completely burnt in oxygen. Other points considered when choosing a fuel is availability, the cost, ease and rate of concentration, ease of transportation, ease of storage. This brings us to the end of our discussion. My name is Jasmine Ohawa from Loreto Convent Valley Road. And my name is Ruth Rukwaro. See you next time.